And we're back to learning Inkscape and this time I'm going to show you how to rotate and duplicate objects in a circle. So I'm simply going to create the EU flag and it has these two colors, at least according to Google if you want to use the same. Here's the hex code. So at first I'm going to create a simple rectangle in this bluish color. I'll just drag that freeform and now I'll copy paste the hex code. Let me select it and then control V. Now let me create the star. It needs to have five corners. And make sure the star symbol in the top menu is selected. Something like that should be fine. I'll give it this yellow color and maybe I have to rotate it just a little bit. Let me click on it again with the cursor tool. And I'll rotate it a little bit more to the left. So these are the two elements that we need. Let me put the star on top of the rectangle. And I size it down holding Ctrl and Shift. That size should be fine. Now I want to have it in the center of the rectangle, so I shift click on the rectangle. Both are selected. Then I go to Object, Align and Distribute. Let me close the Fill and Stroke menu here. I have last selected relative to selected, which is the blue rectangle. And then I click on the Align for Horizontal and Vertical. And now I can be sure that it's in the center of the rectangle. So now I want to duplicate it. So right click, duplicate or press Ctrl D. I'm going to use that short key later on. So keep it in mind, Ctrl D. I put the duplicate to the right side. You need to have snapping enabled. And I'm going to click on these two icons to have it snap to the center of the object. So when you use the cursor tool and click two times on an element, you can see the rotation option and there's a black plus sign that you can drag elsewhere and this defines the center point of your rotation. So I'll drag this plus sign to the star in the center. I make sure that I've got the one on the right side selected and then I use under transform the rotation option. And you can see that I can use the arrows in that menu to rotate it clockwise or counterclockwise. And when I want to duplicate it, I simply press Ctrl D and then I apply the rotation. So I've used 30 degrees, which is 360 divided by 12, as the EU flag has 12 of these stars. But you can also see that it doesn't just rotate the object around the center point, it rotates the object as well. So if I want to rotate them back, I need to use that method once more, but I need to position the center point now to every individual star and then I make it minus. So for the first one it will be minus 30 degrees. For the second one it will be minus 60. But if you don't reposition the plus sign you can see this is what's happening. So you always need to drag this plus sign back to the individual star. The snapping helps, then applied. So the next star would be minus 90, then minus 120, 150, 180, and so forth. I'm going to speed this video up a little bit. So we're done here, but maybe I'll make the stars a little bit smaller. When you do that, don't forget to reposition your center point. So the plus sign needs to go back to the center of the rectangle. And then you can hold Ctrl and Shift and size it down and it will still be in the center of the rectangle. And this is how you can use this rotate function 
to rotate and duplicate objects in a circle. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.